Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number six. It's titled, Click on Button, Go to Another Frame. We have the CS5 program open, and I'm going to open a new file, Action Script 3. We're going to write some action code. Uh, we can leave this all as it is, and OK. This is the new, the new file FLA we're making. Double click here and call this layer numbers. Frame numbers. F R M N U M. Frame num. And the spelling's not important, it's just the name of this this layer. Select frame one. I'm just gonna raise this with this arrow. Just pull this up. S your text tool and just put in here doesn't matter what color number one that's the frame we're on I want to insert a frame at frame two insert a blank keyframe a blank keyframe pick up the text tool and put in a number two just keep track of these frames and put in another blank keyframe and call that frame three naturally. So there's our three frames we're going to be jumping around using a button. Click on the first on this num frame num layer, insert a layer, call it button B U T T O N. Select frame one, grab your oval tool and you can make a circle by holding the shift down or you can just make an oval that's shipped to you get your selection tool make sure you have it selected come up to modify convert it to a symbol click here make it a button and give it a name b u t t o n underscore b t n I label all my buttons that way there's that button. Add another layer. Let's lock these layers. Add another layer and call this action script. AS action script. Select the first frame of that action script. And now I have my actions panel open or up here. But if you haven't, go to Windows, click on the actions panel. And when you do, you'll have this panel come up. Just click on it and drag it up here and dock it and every time now that will be part of your, your default. We're going to type in this code. First of all, it's a stop, open and close bracket, semicolon and it's going to be working on a button that's called capital B U T T O N button one which we haven't identified yet underscore B T N it's add an event listener that means that the the program is just going to wait for something to happen and what it's going to wait for something to happen is to or is for the mouse to click and it's after the B T N is a period then it says add event listener small a capital E capital L if you spell it right it turns blue open bracket most event capital M capital E it's it'll be blue period C L I C K all capital letters a comma and this is just a name shoot one and, and then a close bracket and the colon and here's the function based on that we're going to run when we click on this button one function f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n that's sort of a, a purplish color there's the name whatever name we used here there it is there that's the name just so these two can work together and it's an event e-v-e-n-t colon most event that's that same word is here close bracket colon again void v-o-i-d will be the same color as this function and that means uh, I'm not looking for to send information back to, to the computer 
it's, it's, it's a, it's, and we want to go to and stop, not play, stop, capital S T O P, and I want to go to the next frame, which would be frame two. Now this stop will stop it on frame one, and when we press this button one, it'll go to frame two. So let's go back to the timeline, and we have that button down here. I'm going to pull this up again. On frame one, we made a button. There it is. I'm going to unlock that button's layer, make sure I got it highlighted, and come over here in the properties panel, click, and up here we got to give it a, a instance name. So we're going to call it B U T T O N button one underscore B T N. So now it has an instance name that we can write code on, and we did write code on it. Let's go to frame two of the button's code, of the button's layer, and convert, excuse me, convert to keyframe, and click that frame three, right click, convert to keyframe. So now let's look in here, and let's highlight this button again go up here I want this to be button 2 so we're using the same button over and over again and go to this third frame highlight it I want this to be button 3 so from the same original button we made three instances that we can do things with insert go up to the actions code the action script layer second layer frame insert a keyframe third one insert a keyframe go back to this frame one of the action script open up the actions panel copy it all highlight it right click copy back to the timeline go into this frame two of the action code open the panel paste it this time it's going to be button two I'm going to close this properties panel over here. Uh, we'll call it shoot2, just to keep track. Shoot2. And here we want to go to frame 3. All right. Go back to the timeline. Select the third. Let's go to the third frame. Open the actions panel. We should still be able to paste it. This will be button three this will be shoot three shoot three and we now want to go back to here frame one so if I have everything done let's give it a quick try it'll certainly tell me if we haven't test movie test I see some things oh nothing back there's okay I'm on frame one I click it I go to frame two, I click it, I go to frame three, I click it and I go back to frame one. Very simple tutorial. I hope you learn something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn. I'm going to do another one very similar where we'll have some things take place on each of these frames.